Tana. Um, it's just like, basically going to be a game of chicken of whoever initiates first, honestly. And I feel like Matt's is the character who, like, I guess you can say, likes to box a lot. So a lot of times you're going to try to approach, you're going to get the approach to the stuff by, like, Nair, uh, forward air, just pile Tana's big old buttons. Really nice stall on the PK Thunder as well. You like try it. to circumvent the down tilt. I like and, these side magnet moves. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that um, Hydra didn't go for the fastball after that neutral air. He was just like perfectly positioning himself so that he'd be able to still punish the PK fire and not get caught in it. Chris just needs to. You see that like multiple times. He's just like jumping and not fast falling. Um, he Chris needs to adjust his timing on that, or he begins to anti air him a little bit. And he's seeing him having a tough time to get past these down tilts on ledge. Ooh, that's going to be really, really rough. And Hydro's just still running with this with this lead he has. Like, I see Chris fighting. He's been, he's trying to, like, you know, get in there, do some damage. But Hydro's just not letting him. Down tilt back here, too, coming out. Mm. Yeah, out dodging a little bit too deep. That's going to be the PK Thunder. Nicely timed tech. And oh, if, you get, if you get, like, a PK Thunder with, like, the... Uh, what do you call it? Like the stop screen for the second? Yeah. Usually, uh, like stall, it stalls Matt a bit, so he doesn't go as far. Mm -hmm. You could, you could, you could just like hold uh, shield just to attack it because it has so much knockback in it. It'll buff the attack. It'll probably be within 20 frames of you hitting. Oh, uh, and that can be the stock. That's the stock. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, 52 percent sitting on the board, and PJ still has a mountain to climb. It seems like Chris is definitely like struggling to initiate uh, with Hydro just a little bit. That's going to be the new nice call out on the jump. He had the right idea, but just a little bit off on the spacing. Right? Ooh! Chris is trying to get back onto stage aggressively, going with like a double jump cancel management. It's been really stuffed up multiple times. Hydro ready to try to get a two frame down tilt. Chris timing his PK Thunder really correctly. He is struggling to get back onto stage, trying to use the flash to scare uh, Hydra into shielding you to catch him sleeping. The stage uh, spike there's, there is going to be attacked, but Hydra is like, so on point. Well, he knows this matchup well, and he's not doing anything to like allow Chris to get in and just push his advantage state. Actually, mm -hmm. what advantage state? He's making Ness of the advantage state look non-existent right now. Yeah, that's like all about Chris can get, like that's the first time he's landed a grounded PK fire. But that's gonna be the back throw, and he finally, finally took the first stock. Again, yeah, like, like this like... is trying to catch these landings with PK Fire, and I see Hydra consistently punishing for it. I think Chris wants a lot more space so that he can whiff punish it, right? So that he can go back a little bit farther. But on a stage like Smashville, he doesn't have as much space yeah. as he would like. I was about to touch on the point that like Smashville is not the space you want to go, not stage you want to go to if you're looking for space. Especially in a matchup like this, where like Ness, I mean, I feel like in this matchup again, like that with that grounded PK fire. Oh, no, oh, that's so good. Hello. God bless Ness. God bless Ness. That didn't even head bonk. He didn't even have the chance. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Drum roll. I don't know. Oh, Battle? Uh, Battlefield. Battlefield. Battlefield, yeah, that's gonna give Chris like the grounded space he needs, but also the platforms are just gonna give him some extra approach options. Uh, need be. I'd say like this is like one of the stages that make the matchup like most doable for uh, yeah. for Ness. Trying to convert the fair into the double jump cancel magnet, but unfortunately not enough hits done on a uh, fair quite yet at the percentage. Early on, and it seems to be a repeat of the last game where it's like uh, Hydra is still taking a lot of stage control early on and forcing Chris off stage. Mm -hmm. All right. And Chris finds himself in the corner, not much as he can do about like Palutena landing on him like with no. Ooh, he had the right read. Uh, that move is deceptively not as active as it looks like it'll be. Uh, what? Ah, uh, Chris was just a little bit too uh, quick to release his magnet there, thinking that he already absorbed the first hit of the explosion, but it wasn't big enough yet. Not yet. He was looking for the attack chase there, uh, expecting like a tech roll in. Nice reaction on the explosive off stage, getting clipped by the down tilt. His angle was a little bit too vertical, and he actually slid up on the edge. Um, that's why he got hit by the down tilt. That wasn't even like a true two. I like the fact that he stalled it, but it's just a little tiny bit too much. I finally get his hands on the goddess. 
Almost. Not enough yet. Oh, Ooh. I just had the right idea. Nice mix up. He's just doing his best to just stall himself off stage. And kind of like make Hydra go away, but Hydra is so keeping the aggression on. So little Chris can do to actually come back against Paolo Chain if they're in this position. But finally landing that PK Paolo nice. that I need that he needed that space. He needs that kind of space so that he'd be able to land these kinds of things. And just like that, PK Chris has a stock lead, 163%. This is basically negligible just because just about anything can kill him. Yeah. Palutena is not one who like who struggles with killing. So there's a lot of like areas that hit pretty hard. And a lot of her like neutral tools will kill. Like an air code is the uh, really, really attack. good aggressive option. I really like that from Chris, the way that he used his PK Thunder to get back on. It was a really nice mix-up, and uh, Hydra was definitely not ready for it, but mm. waiting out the 32 frames of invincibility on Nessa's upbeat and able to hit him on the last hit of it when he's vulnerable with the counter. Ooh. That was really good. This is on point, and it, it was doing a good job of keeping Chris out. But now it's like they're fighting a lot more neutral. It's kind of what Chris wants. But I feel like in the boxing game, Ness can Ness can do a lot of it. Mm -hmm. But look how long Hydra is just keeping Chris in the corner. It seems like there's so little that Chris could actually do to get out of it. Mm -hmm. It's like no matter how hard he fights, he always finds himself back in the same spot. I like the shenanigans. Nice, just a teleportation read. Okay. So that Palutena will almost never get hit by the charging hit of Yo-Yo into the actual hit of it. He has to go for the... So the fact that Hydra is going through these high recoveries over the Yo-Yo like that, um, I think it's a little bit of matchup and experience on his part. It's very, very uncommon that Palo, uh, other teleport recoveries will get hit by Yo-Yo. Yeah. You don't see it happen too often. Unless it's like they overextend the recovery. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wait, last time I looked, this one had this Again, like, somewhat easy. Charging hit, not the full hit of it, but able to bait the get-up attack by uh, preemptively charging his yo-yo is now uh, in like the realm of possibility. This is movement with- I think it's a common and Chris's movement with Ness. Like, I'm used to watching Stir, and he's more of a combo crazy Ness, but like, watching Chris move is really, really something I like. You know, Chris definitely makes like the most use out of like the momentum they get from double jump canceling magnet and he uses it like to effectively like space himself around uh, mm -hmm. Palutena and all of her hitboxes. This is so dangerous. He didn't have his double jump. So smart of him to fast fall neutral air dodge there. He was in the air Not sure about happened. that PK no, fire. There, there was no way that was going to land. Oh my goodness. It looked like he di straight up too and then uh, oh, he's going to catch him. Yeah, on battle. Perfect. Like this is the only situation he would have lived that.